What's up guys, PopUp101 here. Today I'm going to be showing you the best possible settings for virtual desktop. So let's get started. First off, I'd highly recommend you connect to your router with an Ethernet cable. If you don't, don't worry about it too much. And I'd recommend using 5 gigabytes Wi-Fi if that's something that you have, because we can use all 1200 megabytes per second, or at least most of it, which will let you play at the highest frames per second and best quality in-game. I also love that we can see everything right now, like the charge of the controllers and the headset right here. You can also see all of my current settings, like frames, 90 frames per second, and the video frame rate that's being recorded right now go to environments you don't really need to worry about this one all that much i mean you can choose whatever you think is cool as you guys can tell i got this one floating around me it's pretty nice looking and it's pretty dark too so i don't get blinded if i decide to play early in the morning or record a video for you all games it just shows all the current games you have installed nothing really interesting about it input I don't really recommend changing anything about this. If you guys know more about it, by all means go ahead if you want, but don't worry about it. Now settings is when it starts to get important. Take a look at everything right here. I always leave auto connect on and the optimal resolution. It'll automatically change it. It's great. If you guys want to record, I recommend you check the boost clock rates on. But other than that, don't worry about any of this stuff right here. I'd recommend keeping your environment quality on low or medium. Your frame rate, honestly, it is cool that you can set it to 120 frames per second, but let's be honest, how many games will run that well? I'd recommend keeping it at 90, but if you can't handle that, if your computer's not powerful enough, then we can always go to 72 or 60. It's not too big of a deal. 60 frames per second is still incredible. And the desktop bitrate is basically how great the picture looks when you're in game or you're streaming it. So I'd recommend keeping this at least 15 to 20, but if you really can't handle it, just take it and slide it all the way back down. And don't really worry about the battery usage. It's not that big of a deal. Heading over to streaming, check the VR graphics quality based on your GPU. I have the 2070 right now, so I'm on medium. I'd love to get the Ultra at some point, and maybe the 4090 as well, but maybe one of these days I will. If you guys' GPU is different, obviously just select it, no biggie, and then restart the game. Just keep this set to automatic, keep the gamma set to 1.0, keep all these settings the same unless you know exactly what you're doing. I'd recommend turning this one off, to be honest. Just let the game be exactly how it was meant to be. Sharpening, 75%, that's pretty good. And then the VR bitrate right here. The image quality is very important when you're in-game, but it'll increase the latency, so I'd recommend, honestly, keeping this at like 40, somewhere around there. If you can handle having it be the best possible quality, great. If your Wi-Fi can't handle it, if your connection isn't that great, just lower it as much as you possibly can and just fiddle with the settings. And then obviously the VR frame rate. I'm going to check 90 off again. This did reset after my last video. If you guys are struggling with the newest update and want to use virtual desktop without needing to connect to Wi-Fi like it used to be, check in the video in the upper right corner or the link in the description. And last but not least, we just have all our videos and stuff. No big deal. But that's really everything that I wanted to show you for all of my settings in virtual desktop. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. Thanks for watching.